Hi, it's Mac Gizmo Guy, and I'm going to do a little episode tonight talking once again about VoIP, voice over internet phone calls. And the last time around, I showed you a, basically a USB phone uh, for Skype from IPVO and some of the features and functions that it had. But tonight, um, I'm going to be showing you um, their wireless product, and this is the SL20 Wi-Fi Skype phone. And this is rather unusual. The USB phone requires that you be running Skype and you set up your uh, handset audio in and outputs and stuff like this. But this is a completely self-contained Wi-Fi phone. It basically has an operating system that runs a version of Skype right inside the phone that logs into your Skype account and then gives you access to your contact lists and stuff that you've already built and stored on there just as you had with your computer. Well, this little Wi-Fi phone I have set up here, I have a small little Linksys wireless router to share my internet connection, and this works pretty well. I have a small cabin, and so I certainly can wander anywhere within the room and make a call right from here. You could also make a call using this phone anywhere that there's open wireless access or even password protected because you can enter in a uh, password if you need to. Well, some of the basic features of this phone are it's small, lightweight, it has a rechargeable lithium ion battery and that's replaceable behind the case here and snaps in fairly nicely. The phone, as we see, looks a lot like any given phone. It shows me the Wi Fi signal strength up in the corner and the level of my battery charge and has a navigation pad to work through the menus to set it up and do the initial configuration of entering your Skype account name, your password there, choosing the wireless network and connecting to that, and then a traditional dial pad. This phone also has a volume up and down control along the side of it, so you can adjust that during the middle of a conversation. On the bottom, we see it has a small little mini USB port to charge up the battery. Because this is wireless and talks to Skype through the internet, um, this really doesn't, it isn't synchronized. There's nothing to synchronize with the computer. It basically talks directly and logs into your uh, Skype account over Wi-Fi. It did come with a little USB recharging base and a place to hold it so that I can grab it easy sitting next to my computer here. They do sell a complete bundle with kind of a car kit where there's a car charger and things like that. So you could be driving anywhere, you can find an open wireless network, you can make a call at a very low cost. Basically, for me here in the woods, my local phone company just sent me a letter announcing that they're raising my long distance rates to 15 cents a minute. And that's even for towns that are only about 15 or 20 miles away. So with Skype, on the pay-as-you-go plan, I can basically make a call to just about anywhere in the U.S. for two cents a minute, just a fraction of the cost of that. Well, this Skype SO20 phone here is a little pricey. It's about $130 or so, a little more. Um, and that's a little tough because if you make an investment in a phone like this, you really do need to be the kind of person who makes a lot of long distance calls to kind of offset the initial cost of the phone. But that's often the case with any VoIP voice over IP solution. You make the investment in the phone or the adapter or the wireless phone and that and eventually it pays off by the minute. Uh, the more calls you make, the more money you save. Well, in terms of sound quality, it's quite good. I did experience some frustration. One, because some of my initial test calls um, were to friends who had kind of crappy cellular connections, which in, in a way is kind of normal. Um, so I had to kind of contend with the possibility that the person on the other end was cellular and not having a great connection. I also have rather slow DSL because I live out in the woods and I'm rural. I don't get really, really high speed internet. And occasionally I get little dropouts and stuff like this. Overall, as long as I'm within a reasonable range and I've got at least two bars of signal strength with this phone, um, the call clarity is pretty good even on a reasonably slow DSL connection. Voice is not terribly demanding of 
bandwidth. It's not like you're trying to broadcast a high fidelity stereo signal. So as long as my DSL connection is fairly reliable, and I would think that people with cable uh, would have an even better, they'd be much less likely to experience little glitches and dropouts. It's kind of funny because I'm really an analog telephone kind of guy. I'm not a cell phone person. I've never owned one myself. Um, so it was a little bit of a challenge navigating kind of the control pad to figure out how to enter an upper and lower case, my login ID for Skype and my password, <clears throat> excuse me, with letters and numbers, how to choose my wireless network and things like that. So this was a bit of a learning curve for me. I may be high tech in other areas of my life, but when it comes to phone, I just like something that hangs on the wall and has a crank. So this is a little new to me. But so far, my impression of this IPvo Wi-Fi Skype phone is good. Um, because Skype is sort of built into it, if they find bugs or problems with it, it can be upgraded and updated through a firmware update. However, at this point in time, those firmware updates are available only on a Windows computer. So for Mac owners, as long as this thing works, and it does, pretty much out of the box. If it ever needed a firmware update, you might have to go over to a friend's Windows PC, um, connect it up via USB or Wi-Fi, and run it that way. So that's the only drawback that I can see. Overall, this is a pretty neat phone. It's going to give me more flexibility than this wired phone here. And we'll see. I'll try a little bit of both. Uh, which solution I end up using for the long haul remains to be seen. For these phones and others, that can help you save money on long distance, visit my website, macvoipchat.com, and, uh, and check out some of the phones that are available there to quit paying your phone company an arm and a leg to make calls and start doing it over the Internet. All right? Thanks for watching.